What's going on everybody? Welcome back to our farm vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. My name is Kevin. That's my Anatolian dog, Daisy. She is a guardian dog out here for our goats. And you guys know, if you've been following the channel for a while, we have been doing a lot of projects trying to prepare for winter here on the farm, especially with our goat pen. We ran the electric, we ran the water line, and I had a big project I was wanting to do in the barn. Let's take a look and I'll show you guys. So I got the lights installed, got the electric installed, and um, I wanted to get the electric all done so I would be able to have some lights to come in here and uh, work in the evenings and stuff. But what I was wanting to do is build a feed bunk along here, all the way down here. So when we come in here, we can feed the goats and not get trampled and all that. Well, to make a short, to make a story short, a long story short, I recently was just getting ready to uh, order a bunch of lumber from Lowe's. And you might say, I had a little bit of a problem and I don't know if this is Lowe's thing it might be a nationwide thing but my experience was with Lowe's so basically what had happened is I had kind of written down all the lumber I needed for this project to make this little feed bunk and such well I start adding you know stuff to my cart at Lowe's because I usually order online and I go pick it up that way it just saves a lot of time from having to walk around the store and doing all this and that so, you know, it's been a couple weeks and I started kind of putting some stuff in there and, you know, I tried to get it all at once so I'm not wasting gas and running back and forth to get all the material. Well, anyways, I had several 2x4s, I had some 2x6s and some uh, OSB board and stuff like that because we're actually doing another project on the house. If you guys caught the uh, giant hornet video we did, uh, that was what I was doing that day whenever I discovered the giant hornets. I had a truck full of OSB and some 2x4s and I didn't buy very many and I'm going to tell you guys a little secret about that. If you guys have anything going on here in the future building wise, you better check lumber prices. Back to my original story on the Lowe's cart, I had several 2x4s and some OSB in my cart. And it was a certain price, let's say it was like $13 for the OSB, the 2x4s were like $4. Well, I go back to look, the 2x4s jumped up in my cart to like $6.95. And this is just a standard pine 2x4 by 8 foot. It jumped up over 100% in price in a matter of weeks. And then uh, the OSB was the same way. OSB, this is just a 7 16 OSB, the 4x8 sheets. They were, you know, just months ago they were $11 and now they are $23 and some change. And that is... That is over 100% in a markup. And I don't think it's just Lowe's because I called around some other lumber yards and stuff in my area just to check and the prices was comparable. And I was like, what is going on? And uh, from what I'm hearing is China is buying up a lot of our lumber. But back to, you know, I'm trying to stay on the main story. I was just shocked that I had that stuff in my cart and then I go back to look and it, it, it doubled in price. Like my cart doubled in price without adding a single item. And uh, if you go to different Lowe's, a lot of times you'll see that the, uh, I'll put some video footage up here and showing you some of the newer, newer prices. I had my buddy Dutch, he was at Lowe's the other day and he did some filming for me with his phone and he sent me the file and he told me to use that. So I'm gonna throw that up here in a minute. Like, or my, I might be playing it right now. I'll play it as we talk and uh, you guys can kind of just see some of the lumber prices and I'll go in the shop here in a minute and show you guys some of the stuff I did buy. But anyways, I did not end up buying this because I did not budget for this price increase at all. Like I said, it more than doubled. So it it was like uh, made me double check to make sure that I didn't accidentally edit the cart or something because that much price change was totally insane but if you guys go to Lowe's and you don't see any of the lumber up on the racks and stuff you can ask and this is something that's kind of a secret because they actually keep a lot of lumber back in the back for contractors and stuff because a lot of people are seeing these lumber prices raise up really quick and they're going into the store and they're buying bulk trying to uh store up some if they got projects and stuff coming because Prices ain't going cheaper, and we'll talk about that here in just a minute. All right, guys, so I actually have a couple sheets of this OSB left over, and that's all the 2x4s I have left over. This stuff is sky high now. 
Like I said, just six months ago, this stuff was $11 a sheet. About two years ago, it was $5 a sheet, and now it is almost $24 a sheet. And an eight foot two by four like this has went from $3 to about $7, and it's actually $9 here at my local lumber yard. So just to give you guys an idea. All right, so I'm not trying to cause panic or scare anybody into anything, but there is so many people that I have been talking to the past week or so about this stuff, about the prices of lumber that had no idea. And several of these people are building projects, or I even have some family members that are actually starting to build a house. And I know some other friends and other people that are actually fixing to start building a house, and now every one of them has this on hold. Uh, they got their material quote back and it has more than doubled from whatever lumber supply store they were using. It is insane. And uh, if you guys follow Keeping It Dutch, just like he says uh, on his videos, he is uh, he's hunting for a uh, sawmill pretty hard. He has, this, he has this land up here right next to us. He's got 40 acres up here of hardwoods and he's got some pine and stuff, but... They're wanting to build something up here, but man, you just cannot afford to do it right now with the lumber prices. So he is searching pretty hard for a sawmill and uh, he'll be able to uh, mill out some of his own lumber and actually save money. But here's the catch. When you start calling around and uh, checking on sawmill prices and stuff, guess what? They're like three to four months out because people's finally getting the hint that these prices of lumber are not going down anytime. And now with all these natural disasters going on, you got fire, you got uh, hurricanes coming in on the east coast, in the gulf, and uh, you know that's just going to drive up prices furthermore. I mean, uh, you got houses in uh, Idaho, Oregon, California burning to the ground. You actually got forests burning where they actually harvest the trees that we get a lot of this lumber from. That You know, a lot of our lumber in the United States comes from uh, the Pacific Northwest area. So not to scare anybody or anything like that, like I'm saying, but... How many of you knew about these lumber prices? Did you know that lumber prices jumped up 100% within the last two months? Because I had no idea. And <laughs> I've been trying to save up money to build this feed bunk. You know, I want to build it nice, like how I want it and everything. But right now, there is no way that I can afford to build it like I want to. I can't justify spending $1,000 on building the feed bunk for these goats. But i got to come up with something. So I'm just going to have to go back to the drawing books. Um... I don't know if I got enough used lumber around here. I've usually used it all up on other projects and stuff. But I really wanted to just make this video so you guys knew. If you go to Lowe's, do not walk in there and have a stroke whenever you see the prices. Or just your local lumber store because it is serious. And uh, talking to some of the uh, managers at some of the local lumber yards around here are telling me that prices are not going down anytime soon. And if anything, they're going to go up. Because they are, they are actually changing prices every week. Every week they come in and prices are going up. And the other thing to that, they can't even get their whole orders. They're ordering, they're, the lumber yards are ordering, trying to fulfill their stock, trying to keep their stock full. And they're only getting parcel orders shipped in. And it's taking months and months to even make a complete order. Where before, if they were out of something, they could get it like the next day or next two days. Now they're waiting months to get it. So I just wanted to make this video to make you guys aware because this actually shocked me. I know it blew Dutch's mind. He is fixing to sell his farmhouse that he lives in now and they're going to build a you know an off-grid house, a pole barn, whatever they're going to do out here. He hasn't announced yet. He's been talking about on his channel. They've been going around looking at yurts, looking at RVs, looking at pole barns and all different types of stuff. But if he does want to build his own thing, he's going to have to get a sawmill now to uh, justify the cost because it is sky high. And uh, unless you've got buckets of money sitting around your house somewhere or something, you might uh, be shocked whenever... If you got a project or a house you're fixing to build, you might be shocked whenever you go to buy this stuff. So don't be like me and show up at the uh, lumber store and uh, see the prices and be like, whoa, this isn't going to work. The stuff I got right here that I just showed you guys, this OSB and 2x4s, I actually picked it up at my local lumber yard because I was building an attic in our, uh, or excuse me, I was building a closet in our attic uh, that just sets off the side of our bonus room. <clears throat> and uh, I just had to get a couple pieces of OSB and I had to get a couple 2x4s. I think I got eight 2x4s and four pieces of OSB. 
and he said that'll be a hundred and ninety four dollars and I was like did you get I said four pieces of OSB or 40 because that don't sound right because I'm used to it being like 11 bucks or whatever <clears throat> he said no man he said prices has jumped a hundred percent in the last two months and I'm like okay can I see the sheet I just want to see it from my own eyes because it's just it shocked me you know it's kind of embarrassing because I was sitting there waiting in line for a while. There's a busy place and there's people behind me and I'm like, wow. I was like, well, I got to get it. So luckily I just bought that little amount of lumber, <clears throat> which was not very much. So like I'm saying, guys, do not be shocked when you see this. I know some of you are going to know this already. I know that. But some of you have no idea about the lumber prices. And this goes along with the freezers. You know, the, the prices of the freezers have not went up. But if you can find them, that is the key. So, oh, it's, it's just crazy. So, uh, Dutch, you better hurry up and get a sawmill, and maybe I can get this feed bunk uh, made. I'll come out there, and we'll, we'll do some bartering for some uh, oak or hickory wood or something, and uh, we'll make it work out. But, yeah, so anyways, guys, there you go. I just wanted to make this short little video about the Lowe's thing. And <clears throat> if you go to Lowe's, what I was trying to say earlier, if you go to Lowe's and you don't see the lumber on the shelves, be sure to ask because a lot of times they got pallets of this stuff in the back. And, uh, you know, they hold it for the big contractors and stuff that come in there and buy bulk. You know, you save a little money. If you look on the price tag, it says $10.99 per board or whatever. But if you buy bulk contractor savings, it's $8.99. So if you need a lot of stuff, you can actually save some money buying in bulk. But anyways, guys, uh... If you have not checked out my other Lowe's videos, I'll try to put an iCard up or uh, something that shows you the freezer video and everything else that we did in the past. And uh, thank you guys for the support. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know. Do you guys uh, have big projects planned? Are you guys planning to build a house, a barn, stuff around your farm, your house? Let us know. Uh, have you been shocked by these lumber prices and what are you going to do? Are you going to put things off? Are you going to go ahead and pay these outrageous prices? and carry on with your project or you're going to put it off till next year like most of the people i know are doing because you just can't afford it it's a crazy world we live in but just got to keep faith in god and keep going so guys leave a comment down below like this video and we'll see you next time